what's up pisces hi you guys <laughs> this is gonna be for the month of january thank you for being here with me thank you for tuning into my channel um you guys usually get a lot of the bonus reads so thank you for that i appreciate it i appreciate you guys sharing my videos um commenting i really love the comments honestly the comments the likes the shares all of it i'm here for it <laughs> i love you guys all right I, I hope you guys have had a merry christmas a happy thanksgiving um now let's see what's coming in for you guys month of january for well, my pisces beautiful energy of pisces let's see pisces we have the deer i have to say the deer is a very popular card <laughs> The deer talks about um, facing challenges head on, you know, uh, maybe being in some sort of challenge, challenging circumstances right now, but realize, but knowing that, you know, there's light at the end of the tunnel, remaining compassionate, remaining kind, um, and knowing that after whatever struggle you're going through, you will be renewed and everything will be okay. Oh, and you have the alligator. Uh, the alligator moves with intention, receives information via empathic ways. Wow, look at the candles. It's getting crazy over there. <laughs> um, has foresight, seeing beyond what, uh, what is obvious. So you guys may be listening to your intuition heavily at this time. Um, and then mutual energy we have is the elephant. So being loyal, um, maybe spending a lot of time with family right now, being very kind, compassionate, which is what I was getting with the deer energy. Um, you guys could be going through, you know, certain things like wanting to just be home, wanting to, uh, pay attention, you know, listening to your intuition, um, trying to look at things through your, uh, like a, through a spiritual lens as opposed to like the human lens, you know, like trying to function out of the 5D, not the 3D, you know what I'm saying? Um, you guys could be feeling like... Because I know we did just have a full moon. Uh, I'm not sure what zodiac sign it was in. But I'm feeling like maybe you guys were affected by it. Maybe your intuition is enhanced at this time. Having like strong inklings. You know what I mean? Feeling like you have to pay attention. Um, and you may feel like you have information or you're aware of information that other people are not and you kind of have an advantage because of it you guys could be mothers fathers focusing on your children um the surrender card just tried to flip out maybe you guys are surrendering to like certain feelings or certain situations you know saying like well you know I guess I can do this, or I, I can look at it this way. Anchor, stability. You guys could be feeling more stable, more anchored, more grounded. Um, or you're feeling intuitively guided to focus on your stability. Or intuitively guided to be, um, you know, strong, to stand strong, to not look at destiny just showed itself to me so you guys could be you know about to fulfill some sort of destiny you know some sort of destined situation may be coming in for you guys pisces um maybe your family is some sort of anchor for you guys you know i'm so sorry i know that that is disgusting but like i i am i have a cold and i cannot get this nasty mucus <laughs> i'm so sorry pisces this was so inappropriate anyway um you have lightning here so dis disruption and you also have um, unlimited potential cancer just got that card so if you guys have uh cancer placements you should definitely definitely check out the cancer reading because they also got that 
um, card as well. Lightning disruption. Like I said, there could be some sort of challenge you're facing at this time, you know, like something that was really unexpected. Um, but the universe wants you to know that you're going to be all right. Everything is going to turn out just fine. You are safe. You are stable. You have strong supporters, like a strong support group on your side. So, let's see. I'm getting strong. Like, you guys are feeling really, like, spiritually guided to something. To something, to someone. There's something that you're being guided to. You have exhilaration that just flew out of the deck. I swear you saw how it just flipped out. Let's see. Let's see what I got. Motivation, Aries energy. You guys could have Aries in your chart. Motivation, feeling motivated, you know, feeling like don't get in my way. I'm divinely guided to do this and I shall do this. And be successful at it. <laughs> you guys could have strong Aries placements or dealing with an Aries. And we have protection. Ooh, Eye of God. That is powerful. Wow. The exhilaration card on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> that card meant to stay. So 125 and 37. Let's see the... Aries card first. Um, all right. Investigate the why. Ensure you understand your motivations for doing something, especially if it is going to be a challenge. What is the source of your motivation? Others may have hidden motivations that are different to yours. Stop and pause to understand others' views. Like I said, something that is challenging, something you're feeling guided to move towards, but needing to make sure you know where this, you know, like where this feeling is coming from and make sure that you're understanding the whole, like looking at the big picture, not just focusing on what, how it's going to benefit you, but also looking at everyone else that would be affected by this, you know, course of action. Um, Aries sign is very impulsive. So I'm feeling like you guys need to kind of, you know, relax a little bit if you're feeling that impulsivity, like don't be impulsive. You know what I'm saying? Anything that's done out of, out of being desperate or being in a rush, it never turns out well. So just make sure that you're paying attention. Exhilaration. Whatever, whatever peaks on oh no, whatever peak experiences are for you, seek them out occasionally for good mental health. Run and dance like no one is watching. Seek joy. Seek flow. Find your wildness. Be a loyal friend. Do something simply for the fun of it. So you guys are, you know, needing to have a little bit more fun, Pisces. You know, put yourself out there. Go out. Have fun. Have a good time. You know, don't take life so seriously. Then the protection card, the I have got God card. Know you are loved and protected. To live an authentic life, you must engage healthy boundaries for yourself. Take your time in trusting new people, especially in business and with finances right now. Check all contracts thoroughly before signing. While you are partially the product of your, your ancestors, you have free will. Take only the positive from your ancestry and be aware of any family toxicity. It stops with you. So Pisces, you guys are, you guys could be faced right now at like a fork in the road. Um, needing to just think about the whole scenario, you know, look at the whole big picture, you know, before you make a choice, before you make a move, before you move forward. Look at all, all parties who are involved, you know. You may be, you know, having a good time with your family right now, not really looking to focus on whatever is going on externally. For right now, because we are in holiday season, you guys may be just focused on, you know, having a good time with your loved ones, you know, being happy, laughing, focusing on those things. But once the holidays pass, which, you know, in about a week or so, 
all of this holiday stuff will be you know behind us you are being like called to you know of course have fun don't take life so seriously but also listen to your intuition and make sure that you're moving in a way that you can be accountable for you know and know that you are protected god is watching you god watches over you so just move with intention which is that's crazy that i said that because i forgot that's what the alligator that's what the alligator speaks about moving with intention so let's see we're gonna take a look into your love life see what's going on there for the pisces partying <laughs> time with friends having fun happily single living in the moment you guys could be going out for new year's eve having like a new year's eve party um hanging out with your friends you know maybe you are single maybe most of the pisces i'm connecting with are the single pisces are you guys considering moving you know towards someone that you're interested in maybe that's the challenge here <laughs> um because if you have happily single there, I mean, some of you guys could have just recently had a breakup or something. But we have the runner, fear of intimacy, running away, intensity, letting go, turmoil, and fleeting. Maybe someone feels like you are the runner, you know, like you run away from emotions or you run away from intimacy. Or you, you're not sure how to deal with emotional, anything emotional, Pisces. You guys could just be having a time of your lives, <laughs> not stressing no one, not stressing anything, just living your life. Wow, Phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renew, grow, change, mind, rise from the ashes. You guys could have went through a moment of transformation, um, having like a renewed sense of self, a lot of self-development, a new phase in your life that you guys are embarking on, being a changed you, a better you. You know, like a renovated Pisces. <laughs> um, an ascended Pisces is what I should say. We have the hammer here. Sabotage, rebuild, persistent, working on it, and repairing. Then you on the bottom of the deck, you have coffin. New beginnings, liberation, reborn, transition, tragic endings. Um, sometimes that could speak to like, you know, a loss of a loved one. For some of you guys, if that's the case, I am sorry. My condolences to you and your family. Um, but a coffin also speaks about just embarking on something new. You know, a new journey, a new path. This could be when it comes to love or just a new path when it comes to life. You know? Maybe you're feeling intuitively guided to start something new. You know, be done with whatever has left or be done with whatever... Challenges or battles or obstacles you were going through previously. It's like you're ready to bring on the new. We are going into a new year, so that could be another reason why you guys are getting that energy because it's like a new year, new me, <laughs> you know, new year resolutions and all this stuff. So I respect it. All right, Pisces, let's see. You guys could even be wanting to like break away from old friendships or just people that, you know, are in the past that like you still have their number saved and you're just like, I don't even talk to this person no more. Ten of, ten of wands flips out as I say that, you know, just releasing old people who you don't even, you're not even connected to anymore. Getting rid of old numbers, stuff like that. Let's see. Y'all are really in your new year bag, huh? <laughs> Ooh. All right, Pisces. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. The Knight of Wands. The Two of Wands. 
the moon, Cancer, Pisces, and the star, Aquarius. And the three of wands as the overall energy, as well as the six of wands. Let's see. Hmm. Star and the moon are here. Hmm. You guys could have been in a really long-term relationship recently. Um, or maybe you're still in this relationship and you're just like waiting for your ships to come in with this person. <clears throat> this person could have had like, or, you know, showed you a lot of like Knight of Wands energy where they were in and out. You know, they didn't know if they were going to stay, if they were going to go. But they did know that they were uh, sexually attracted to you. <laughs> they enjoy that much. You have a lot of wands here. So this person was really physically attracted to you, Pisces. Like heavily. Um, they were really like sprung on you. I just have to say. Um, you have the moon and the star. So I feel like maybe you guys are realizing that you may have to, you're at, you're at a point where a choice has to be made. You know, it's like you're intuitively be feeling guided to make a different choice this time because this person is, you know, they, they're, they keep on doing this in and out business that I don't have time for that. <laughs> That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this. I'm looking for a real commitment. I'm looking for my wish fulfillment with the star. Um, I need someone who's going to look at me as the center of their universe. You know what I'm saying? As like who looks at me as like the most beautiful thing they've ever seen. You know, not someone who looks at me as a piece of ass. <laughs> it's not what I want. It might make me feel good, but like, no, I, I don't. It's not long term. You know, and you guys could be now being opened or um, being shown a new path. There's like a new path opening up for you. Could have been, you guys could have been really confused with this person. You know, this person could have been really confusing. One day it's like, oh, hi, babe. I love you. When we're going to see each other, blah, blah, get together, you know, have intimacy, whatever. Next day, it's like you don't hear from them for a few days. And you're like, um, hello, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> you know? So I just feel like you guys right now are like healing, focusing on yourself, focusing on how you're going to uh, come out from under this situation, you know, knowing that your ships are going to come in. And when they do come in, this is how you're going to be feeling. You're going to feel really, you know, successful, um, very recognized. Um, or maybe this could be who you are, you know, someone who is very recognized, someone who does have a large following you know you can be an inspiration to, to people people may look at you and feel like wow like this pisces you know they got it going on you know what i'm saying um you could have went through a moment of a lot of confusion but now light is being shed upon whatever was uh, you know whatever was confusing you and because of that you're ready to heal you're ready to move on and <coughs> And focus on your on your blessings on what's gonna make you feel good you know what's gonna make you feel like you're you're moving up you're you know getting what what it is that you want in life <clears throat> let me see Yeah, it's looking like you're 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 needing to like hold up your guard, hold up your boundaries, you know, like focus on your inner strength in order to get what it is that you want in life or what it is that you want in love. It's like you're staying guarded, you're remaining guarded. You could have a lot of people who want your attention, but you're just not you're not finding the right one. It's like it's, it's not, you're not having a good time right now. <laughs> this is crazy. The three of wands and the six of wands keep showing itself to me. The six of wands, the three of wands just flipped out of the deck here. It's like success is right around the corner for you, Pisces. 
with the three of wands and the six of wands that's like um you know I'm, I'm waiting i'm grounded i've been waiting for my ships to come in they're finally coming in and boy am i gonna enjoy it <laughs> this is what i've been waiting for and if you're not in a relationship with this person be careful for suitors who are looking for you know casual hookups one night stand type energies Remain guarded, remain true to yourself. If that's not what you're looking for right now, casual hookups, and now is not the time to, you know, um, exchange energy with people who show that that's what it is that they want. Like a one night stand type of situation. No. I mean, if that's what you want, that's what you want. That's fine. I'm not here to judge nobody. But if it's not what you want, be careful because you may have, you know, people who are not here for a long time, just here for a good time. Um, the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck, and then you have the Five of Wands clarifying the Hierophant. Hmm. Are you guys involved with someone who you feel, you know, you're always fighting with, <clears throat> always arguing with? <coughs> or maybe this person you feel is like, competing with you or this person feels like you there's a lot of competition for you because the hierophant talks about like holy matrimony very traditional type of relationship um or this could even just be you like like is that what i want you know do i really want a traditional relationship it's like you guys are figuring figuring it out like, am I ready to give up this Knight of Wands energy, you know, and, and, and be fully committed? Is that really what I want here? It's like a battle <laughs> you're having within yourself. Oh, you have the Empress here. I feel like you guys would give up this Knight of Wands energy if you find an Empress or an Emperor. Not this Devil energy with the Devil on the bottom of the deck. If, if it's toxic, you know, if it's low vibrational, if it's codependent, like I'm not willing to give up my freedom to be in a traditional relationship with someone who just does not click with me. And maybe that's the pro maybe that's the issue here. There's no one who you feel, you know, makes you feel like you should give up this Knight of Wands energy. You haven't run into that person yet. And these two cards try to flip out. The Nine of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. There could be some sort of Queen of Pentacles that you're interested in. But maybe this person doesn't really show you any attention. <laughs> this person could have tattoos. They could have dark hair. They could have bangs. Um, they could be a nurturer. They could have children. Um, and you're just like in your head. Like, how do I approach this person? You could even be, you know... Uh, typing text messages to send to this person and then you don't send it it could be an earth sign a taurus virgo capricorn queen of pentacles gives me capricorn vibes though you could feel like this person is like beautiful but also very like almost unapproachable <laughs> you don't know how to, pro how to approach them um all right let me see i'm gonna get another card for this <clears throat> hierophant Ten of Swords. That was the card that started off. That's crazy. Yeah, I feel like you guys are getting ready to put an end to, like, fighting or put an end to, or someone wants to put an end to other suitors when it comes to you. Someone is wanting to put an end to that. They're like, all right, Pisces is mine, y'all. That's it. <laughs> Pisces is mine. I've waited long enough for this situation. So y'all are going to have to go kick rocks. Pisces is off the market. <laughs> Let me see this Knight of, Knight of Wands. <coughs> the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles clarifying the Knight of Wands. That combination just looks toxic as hell, if you ask me. <laughs> That's like one, someone not wanting to let go of their 
player ways like either not knowing how to let go of it or just not wanting to because honestly in this four of pentacles card he has all the control he can definitely let that go he could let that go he just doesn't know how to let it go no he just doesn't want to let it go not that he doesn't know how to because he can he knows how to he just gotta release that pentacle release that shit but he don't want to so you guys could feel like this is a type of person you were dealing with. Someone who didn't want to let go of the casual dating or the, you know, casual hookups. The, you know, in and out energy. He just didn't want to. <clears throat> and no matter how many times you would argue about it with this person, they would keep betraying you. Because they just didn't want to stop being who they truly were. You have the Wheel of Fortune here. Well, looks like uh, karma is coming right around this bitch. <laughs> and they, you know, karma may not like how this person treated you. Or what this person did. How they were treat, you know, how they were acting. So irresponsible. They're about to be really upset. <laughs> Um, by the way, you had the nine of wands on the bottom of the deck again. So a lot of worry. Someone could be worried because maybe they know that you're about to be gone. <laughs> gone because they were unable to give you what it is <coughs> you were asking for. Two of wands. Let's see what two of wands is about. Six of Cups, waiting for your soulmate. Ooh, eight of Cups. Maybe your soulmate or whoever it is that you're waiting for has to walk away from another situation. Because the Eight of Cups on the bottom. Mm. Hmm. Maybe whoever it is that you want has to walk away from something else. I mean, they probably plan to do so if, I, you know, with the Eight of Cups there, they're planning to walk away from it. Ooh, the tower, but they know it's going to cause a tower moment. And someone is going to be heartbroken with that Three of Swords. They could even have a family with that other person, Pisces. Or the other person really had hopes that they would, you know, have a family with that person. You have the fool. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah, someone someone that you want and most likely obviously wants you too. They view you as a new beginning for them. Pisces. With the fool card here. That's like, you know, I'm going to take the leap. I'm going to risk it all for this Pisces. You could be dealing with a Libra. Just this card is here in the bottom. I'm going to risk it all for this person. I feel that they're worth it, you know. That's my person. <laughs> Let's see the moon. Let's see the moon. The death card, Scorpio energy. This could be someone who has a, a moon in, in Scorpio. Or maybe that's you, Pisces. Um... Yeah, it looks like an ending, definitely. <coughs> an ending to confusion is what it looks like. <laughs> an ending to <coughs> illusion. Things that you thought were going to turn out one way and they didn't turn out that way. It's like you're, you're, that's it. You're over it. And the Ten of Wands ending. I'm telling you, strong endings. This is two tens already here. Temperance, being patient. I see Ace of Swords with the Eight of Wands. That talks about like quick communication. Quick communication, or even travel. But someone looks like they want to have like profess some sort of truth to you, Pisces, or you want to do that to someone open up about something 
or open up about your feelings you're just like really timid shy you don't know how to approach this person the ten of pentacles now another ten strong ending um energy that i'm getting here that coffin card looking at me <laughs> that coffin card is like hello didn't i already point that out <laughs> the eight of cups yep someone walked away from what no longer served them to work to walk towards their wish fulfillment to walk towards what they felt they were waiting for you know what they were praying for what what they wished for <laughs> someone walking away from what no longer serves them to walk into a situation that provides them everything they need not looking back I feel like the moon played a strong um, a strong role in what's going on in your life, Pisces. Or you could even be a walking away from an Aquarius. Someone with Aquarius in their chart. You have the seven of pentacles now. Oh, you have the devil, the lovers, the two of cups. What the heck? Jeez. Gemini Capricorn energy here now. Hmm. I feel like, yeah, you guys are investing in yourself, investing in <clears throat> what how you see your future fit, you know, like the way that you want your future to play out. Um or you could even have an Aquarius walk away from you. Someone who you were really invested in. <coughs> um, because they're they're off to, you know, start something new. You could feel like the person you were with, or this could be your soulmate too. Feeling like the person they were with was very toxic, like very um, narcissistic or codependent, possessive, you know, obsessive. Um indulging in a lot of like you know like heavy drinking or heavy smoking a lot of addictive qualities you know what i'm saying and you decided to break away because that that's not the type of person you want to commit to it's not what you're looking for you're trying to leave the toxicity you're trying to get out of that you're trying to find your soulmate right well, you're just trying to find what, you know, brings you the stability that you're looking for. The happiness that you're looking for. The dragonfly showed up. Let's see. Unicorn. I think Aries got the unicorn. You guys could have Aries in your chart. Um, success, hope, freedom, healing, and magic are all available to you if you just believe. So strong emphasis on manifesting, Pisces. Get to manifesting. It's a new year. The new year is the perfect day to manifest. Wow, you have goals. Cancer had this card. Um, progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. And you have the owl. There are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. That is really all good energy to be coming in. <clears throat> now I'm just going to close out the reading with what is coming in next for you guys. Let's see. I feel like you guys are just <clears throat> investing in yourself right now. <laughs> Investing in yourself and leaving all things that just no longer serve you in the past. You're ready. You're ready to take a leap on yourself. <laughs> you know? Let's see. You could have, even, could have even had a lot of people trying to pursue you, but they're just not getting anywhere with you. So they're just like, all right, I'm just going to stop hitting up this Pisces because clearly Pisces is in hermit energy. <laughs> Pisces don't know, don't want to know about nobody. So I'm going to just keep it pushing, focus on myself. Maybe that Pisces will come around one day, but that day is not today. So 
I'll just mind my business and sip my tea over here in this corner. <laughs> Temperance, the Five of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles again. Ooh, with the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom. Ooh, that's nice energy. So I feel like um, you guys are remaining patient, grounded, healing, transforming yourself. You guys could even, you know, maybe you guys did go through some sort of ending. And if you did go through an ending, you guys are right now, you know, <coughs> healing from this energy, that Five of Cups energy. Um, and just investing in yourself, you know, trying to make yourself a better you, a better version of yourself. Um, the Sagittarius energy here now. You could be focused on your finances as well. And just making sure you get out of the broken heart energy. Being single. Enjoying your singlehood right now, Pisces. Honestly, that's what I see here. I see endings, a lot of self-development, a lot of goals, you know, initiating new, like starting new biz, um, ideas, you know, new ways to make more money, um, and just a lot of investing. So that's really good. But you do have someone, this player person, who does not want to let you go. <laughs> they really don't want to let you go for their own selfish reasons, honestly. It's not because of love. It's not about... They love you so much. No, it's their it, it's their selfishness. They don't want to let you go because they don't want you to get away. So just be on the lookout, all right? All right, well, Pisces, that will be the conclusion to my January uh, love reading for yous. Um, I love you guys so, so, so much. I'm grateful for each and every one of you guys. Um, until next time. Oh, one more thing. Happy New Year, Pisces. I hope this year brings you so many blessings and so much more wish fulfillment. Um, if, this, uh, if this reading wasn't personal, you know, or specific enough to your situation, you can always book a personal reading with me. The information for that will be down below. Um, I love you guys so, so, so much. Again, thank you for being here. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. That really helps my channel out, guys. Um, I appreciate you all. Have a great day. Bye.